हरे कृष्णा सम लिमिट्स रिस्ट्रिक्ट सम प्रोटेक्ट नोइंग विच लिमिट डज वॉट इज इंटेलिजेंस वी ऑल वॉन्ट टू बी फ्री एंड लिमिटेशंस ऑफन सीम टू डिप्राइव अर्स ऑफ आर फ्रीडम एंड वी वॉन्ट टू पुश अगेंस्ट लिमिटेशंस इवन ब्रेक डाउन दोज लिमिटेशंस एट द सेम टाइम ऑल लिमिट्स आर नॉट बॉर्न इक्वल if a person is in a jail where there are big walls that restrict that person's movement then certainly the limit of the wall restricts and there is a way for that prisoner the inmate in the jail to get out and that is by living in a law abiding way by following the rules by reforming and then getting out so certainly if one is imprisoned within Uh, jail walls or if somebody has not done anything wrong but has still been imprisoned then those are limits that should be broken down those are the limits from which one should free oneself but if there is a steep cliff from which uh, people may fall down to their death and there is a wall over there or there is a skyscraper building and on the terrace or on the balcony of a higher floor there is a wall and if a foolish person uh, tries to push against that wall break that wall and tries to jump out of that that limit of the wall is protecting and if that wall were broken down the person may fall to their death so not all limits are bad knowing which limit does what is intelligence and when we have that intelligence then we can function effectively in our lives in terms of directing our endeavors in a way that is constructive that liberates us and not destructive so uh, let's apply this to life at large if we consider uh, ourselves in our life journey do we long for constant happiness we long to live forever to love forever and to rejoice forever but our very existence in the physical body in the material world limits us it prevents us from having lasting life lasting joy lasting love because everything in the material world is temporary so the world of matter is like a prison for us souls and we need to break free from this prison so it is material consciousness it is a desire to enjoy material things that keeps us entrapped in material consciousness and that we need to break uh, break free from so the process of yoga especially bhakti yoga enables us to break free from material consciousness and rise to spiritual consciousness so the limits on our pleasure imposed by the body are something which we need to break down by raising our consciousness to the level of the soul but while we are in embodied existence there are some limits which protect us unfortunately we try to break down those walls so what are those walls those are the walls uh, to the indulgence at the body level that are constructed by dharma by scripture by morality so we often try to break down these walls and think that that will give us greater pleasure so often immoral anti spiritual pleasures people delight in getting and in rejecting morality and spirituality they think that's their freedom however that only entangles them more and more in bodily consciousness and thus traps them thus deludes them so if we can know which pleasure leads to what what is depriving us of pleasure then we can actually march forward steadily so sensual pleasure leads to misery as krishna tells in 5.22 in the bhagavad gita that yahi samsparsh jab hoga dukha yona yevate adyantavantah kaunte yanate shuramate budha 
Rateshuramate Buddha. Why is not delight in sensual pleasures? Because such pleasures end in misery. On the other hand, they persevere on the spiritual path as given in scripture. And this Krishna tells in 2.64 in the Bhagavad Gita, Ragad Besha Vimukta Istu Vishayan Indriya Ischaran Atma Vashair Vidaya Atma Prasadamadi Gachati. So Prasadamadi Gachati. We rise to the spiritual platform. We, by following the rules of scripture, wherein we restrict sensual pleasure and rather we protect ourselves from being, from being captivated by bodily consciousness and we follow scripture when we rise to spiritual consciousness and that is how we become liberated. So the limits to our sensuality protect us from perversity, the limits of our physicality restrict us from spirituality. So going beyond our physicality is breaking free from the limits that is healthy and that is what we pursue by our spiritual growth. Thank you. Hare Krishna.